Hello everyone and welcome to another video review by Centipede Geek. This book is by the name of The Lincoln Lawyer. The author is Michael Connolly. There actually is a movie that is based upon this book. The movie came out in the year of 2011, about a decade ago, and the book came out in the year of 05. This is actually the first Michael Connolly video or book that I read. It was a number one New York Times bestseller back in the year of 05. This is the paperback version, as you can see here. And pretty much what the main plot of this book is, I did make a video on my Instagram titled Mr. Lamo 101 is the, my name on that, if you guys want to check that out. But pretty much what the main plot of this is, it's a little different than your sort of run-of-the-mill uh, crime thriller fiction tales. One, because it's about a lawyer. Normally a lot of times these are about cops and FBI agents, but it's different because Mickey Howler, uh, if that's how you pronounce his name, Mickey Howler plays the role of a lawyer, and he has uh, two ex-wives, and he has an eight-year-old daughter, and it kind of is about him juggling different cases and then juggling his personal life while he's at it. Uh, that's kind of what it's about. And the main case in this one is that the guy he's representing, I don't want to spoil too much, but the guy he's representing is a criminal, though he did not commit the crime that uh, everyone says he did. He's committed of raping and brutally assaulting a young girl, or a young prostitute, should I say. And uh, it's pretty much what it's about. And then towards the end of the tale, spoilers, mild spoilers coming up, his uh, family ends up getting involved, and his daughter and wife end up getting threatened, and it kind of becomes a, a, a struggle to, you know, protect his family. And overall, what did I think of this book? I won't be talking about the movie much because I haven't seen it, but as far as just the, for the book itself goes... I really enjoyed this one. It was a really cool one. Like I said, it's a little different than your sort of run-of-the-mill uh, crime thriller novel because it breaks the mold a little by being about a lawyer. It's not about a cop. It's not about the FBI agents. And the character of Mickey Howler is a really interesting one. He's really cool. He'll do... At first, he comes across as kind of a cynical, sort of morbid guy that's only interested in the money. But later on throughout the tale that you realize that he is a loving father, he is a loving man. Sometimes he just seems a little down on his luck, you know, a little down on life, almost like a midlife crisis sort of thing. And he just seems to um, always kind of have a, t a string of bad luck, especially towards the end when he ends up having to take a 90-day leave and they end up sending him to Cuba, once again, spoilers. Uh, but uh, overall, this was a pretty cool book. I like towards the end where... It becomes about his family, and he's trying to, you know, protect them. And as far as, you know, courtroom dramas go, this is definitely, I would say, an above-average or above-par uh, courtroom drama. And that's where it really picks up, and that's where it really shines, is when they're sitting in the courtroom, and you've got Mickey Haller as the lawyer, and then you've got the other people that are with him, you know, trying to, whenever he's trying to run his lines and stuff like that, and his one-liners and stuff, that's where it really shines, I think is where it has that sort of courtroom drama feel, you know, such as, you know, Law and & Order and all those other SVU and stuff like that. But overall, a really cool book. I would be interested in checking out other books in the series. I ha don't know how many there are, but this is the first title in the series. Once again, thanks for watching my book review of The Lincoln Lawyer by Michael Connolly, and I would definitely recommend this one. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below.